everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Today in the main campaign of the original series, we're going to continue on and start the uh, Duelist Kingdom Playoff Tournament with Yu-Gi vs. Mai. <clears throat> the time had come for the Duelist Kingdom Tournament Finals. Yu-Gi and Joey were more than ready. I sure hope I'm doing the right thing and deciding to duel again. But with Grandpa's soul at stake, I have to. Yugi and Joey walked into the arena where well, they met the other two finalists, Mai and Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith had cheated his way to, to, into the finals and had no plans to stop. Yugi, Joey, Mai, and Bandit Keith, I welcome all of you to the playoff arena. Here is where the last great duel monster duel shall be waged to determine the championship of the duelist kingdom. Only one of you shall emerge victorious. Only one of you shall win the three million dollar prize. And, of course, the victor in the playoff shall also earn the right to challenge me in the final match. The victor will be granted one request, whatever his or her heart desires most. And if, it's with, if it is within my vast power to do so, their wish shall be granted. The victor will also be declared the undisputed, undisputed Duelist Kingdom Champion, ranked number one in the world. And boys, that'll be me. Surely any duelist that has come this far must realize that the title, and not the money, is the real prize. Is that not so? You're a regular comedian. The money, the money's all I need for my sister's operation. Yes, yes. I'm sure some of you are, have more ready on this tournament than the others. Right, Yugi? You've got my grandpa's soul, and Mokuba, and even Seto Kaiba captive. But I'll find a way to defeat you and save them all. The first semi-final match was Yugi versus Mai. Although Mai was now friends with Yugi, she was playing to win. I used to think the only person Duelist could trust was herself. Everyone else was just an opponent. Then I met Yugi, and I learned through him that even the strongest opponents in the arena could still be friends outside of it. If he hadn't loaned me his star chips, I might have never made it to the final round. I owe him a very great debt. I promised Yugi an honorable duel, and that's just what I'm going to give him. But if he thinks that means I'm not going to battle all out, he's dreaming. I'm going to give this match everything I've got, so when Yuki goes down, it'll be a victory I can be proud of. I promised him an honorable duel, not an easy one. <laughs> Let's see, do I want to use... I'm going to go ahead and use um, Yugi's deck. Hmm, magical Reflex Line. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. I'm gonna go second. Ladies first, my. <laughs> I just hope I can pull off the. Uh... Oh, oh man. That that's just wow. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of uh, her face now. I don't know what that is. Okay, good, good. This card may be oh, rit advanced ritual art. This card may be used to special ritual summon any one ritual monster. You must also send normal monsters from your deck to the graveyard whose total levels. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I play the spell card, advanced ritual art, and I'll go ahead and uh, ritual summon the Black Luster Soldier by sending Beaver Warrior. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and send Beaver Warrior. And, um, Griff Ward to the graveyard. This ought to give me an early lead. And since the ritual summon was a special summon, 
I can still summon Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress number one. Now it's battle time. Black Luster, attack! Winged Dragon, take flight! Your turn, Mai. The Black Luster so Whoa, he spell. Wait, why'd she destroy that card? Ah. So when it's destroyed, it can it can allow her to bring three uh harpy cards to the field, huh? Oh well. This was I think this is one of the shortest duels I've ever had in, in my let's play. <laughs> that was what? Two turns for me. You lose, my. Wait, my. There's something I want to say to you. Huh? Thank you. You said a duelist can learn more from defeat than victory, and you were correct. But you, my, you taught me a lot today. I had to confront my own fears and weakness, or I could never have defeated you. It's awfully nice of you to say that. But it seems to me that I also still have a lot to learn. About dueling and about myself. But then I suppose no duelist ever learns all there is to know. And maybe that the most important lesson is that defeat doesn't have to be forever. You won this duel, Yugi, but there will be others. You and I will meet in the arena again, kiddo. And when we do, you better watch out. Oh, nice. Um, in case you were wondering, the reason why that was happening, well, uh, the reason behind what Yugi said was very simple. In the duel of the face-off, which was Seto Kaiba versus Yugi Moto, if you pay attention, um, if you've seen the anime, Seto Kaiba had summoned a monster known as the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which was a three-headed version of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, Yugi had found a way to win, but Seto Kaiba dueling for a chance of saving his younger brother Mokuba had to basically force Yugi's hand. During the duel between them, both Yugi and Kaiba realized that they felt a shockwave whenever their monsters attacked. They were dueling outside uh, on, on one of the castle walls. Kaiba stood on the edge, knowing that if Yugi had committed the attack and won, Yugi would have won the duel, but he would have killed Kaiba. So in other, uh, but the thing was, Yugi realized the spirit that took that that takes over whenever he uses the power of his Millennium Puzzle. At times, it's it's willing to win at any cost. Yugi, being a pure soul that he is, couldn't stand to have someone's death on his hands. But that's the, that's the lesson that uh, Mai had Mai had taught Yugi. He has to trust himself and every decision he makes. Before we end this short episode, let's go ahead and see what cards we can get from uh, the card shop. Uh, oh crap, I must have got some cards from Bakura last time I played. Oh well, Joey, let's hope you can let's hope you can go ahead and catch up with Bakura again. Let's let's see what you give us. Flame Swordsman, Revival of Dukuro Rider, Core Transport Unit, Flame Swordsman again, Armored Lizard. Carbona, uh, Carbona, uh, Warrior, fulfill Fulfillment of the Contract, and Metal Morph. Oh yeah, that's definitely good. Uh, Contract of the, uh, Fulfillment of the Contract. Pay 800 life points to let one ritual monster from the graveyard, special summon it, and equip with this card. The, when this card is destroyed, remove the equipped monster from play. Oh, okay. Oh, not some bad cards, really. Alright. Yep. So... Duel one of the uh, you of the hmm, Duelist Kingdom playoffs is in the book, with Yugi advancing the round two. Next time, we'll ha we'll go one on one with Joey Wheeler versus Bandit Keith. The winner of this match would face Yugi for the right to face Pegasus. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> please subscribe and check out my channel for other uh, videos. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. 
If you enjoy this, please like, favorite, and subscribe for more. Later.